Welcome to the CSIRO's Energy Centre in Newcastle, home to our leading renewable energy research. Below these rooftops, our world-class testing facilities are being used to help develop clean and affordable energy. We have almost 300 kilowatts of solar photovoltaics, one megawatt hour of battery storage, and five kilowatts of wind generation. The Renewable Energy Integration Facility, or REEF for short, is where we can demonstrate how electricity networks will work in the future and how renewable technologies can be integrated into the grid to meet Australia's energy needs. We can set up smaller versions of the electricity grid using real-world conditions to test the impact of solar and different energy storage options like batteries and how these technologies can be controlled to create the most benefit. At the distribution board, we can disconnect the reef from the grid and connect to different on-site power sources like solar. The power grid simulator lets us represent and study the characteristics of different power systems. This is important as different grids have different characteristics. For example, the grid in Outback New South Wales is very different from the grid in the Sydney CBD. We have solar simulators too, so we can run repeatable tests and mimic the conditions of a sunny day, even if it's pouring with rain. The inverters in the reef can supply up to 70 kilowatts of solar power to be used on site or exported back to the grid. Our gas-fired micro turbines use natural gas to produce electricity. The waste heat can be used for other applications. This micro turbine can generate 30 kilowatts of power, supplying power and voltage just as the grid does. We can change how it does this to simulate problems or to represent grids from other countries around the world. Using the load bank, we can represent different energy loads. We can measure the load of a residential or commercial building and program this into the load bank to run tests using different technology mixes. For example, we can find out how a building would perform using 90% solar, all without the cost and disruption of testing this in the real world. Back in the control room, we can see all of the energy data come alive and monitor how alternative energy sources can be combined to provide a stable electricity supply. The reef is available to industry and researchers to collaborate with us. Our stored energy integration facility, also known as the SEAF, is a real-world example of commercial energy storage. Just one way we're researching better ways to use and store energy. We have nearly one megawatt hour of storage, which is about 100 times the capacity of a residential storage system. We have different batteries on site, like the Ultra Battery, one of our own inventions, as well as lithium ion and lead acid batteries. We use stored energy during peak times to manage our electricity demand or shift energy from one period to another. This helps reduce our demand on the grid and reduces our costs. We typically discharge the batteries in the afternoon as this is when energy demand on site and the price of electricity is highest. We also use the batteries to increase the reliability of our solar energy, such as when cloud cover affects our energy output. The data screen tells us a lot such as how much electricity we are using and how much we are generating from renewable sources like the solar PV panels on the roof. It also tells us how much energy has been stored or supplied from the battery. The SEAF is available to government and industry to answer key questions like which battery technology is best to use for which application, what's the best way to control this energy storage and how long will these batteries last. And by testing new technologies on our own site, we know firsthand how they work. The SEAF includes testing of a lithium ion battery system, housed in a six metre shipping container. Lithium batteries are a popular and well-known energy storage technology and can be used for an exciting range of applications, like electric vehicles and solar energy storage in your home. You'll also find them in many small devices such as laptops and mobile phones. The lithium ion technology expands the range of batteries we have on site as part of our SEAF research.
In Australia, air conditioning and refrigeration consumes over 20% of all produced electricity and is responsible for around 50% of peak demand on the electricity system. Our controlled climate test facility tests the performance of air conditioning components under different climatic conditions to help improve the energy efficiency of residential and commercial air conditioning systems. This includes testing commercial evaporative coolers, heat exchangers and desiccant wheels to determine how they perform in a range of climatic conditions, as well as new breakthrough components we have developed. These silver ducts are where two separate airstreams are created, hot or cold, or humid or dry. We can set a range from 0 to 90 degrees Celsius and 10 to 95% humidity to mimic real conditions from across the globe, such as hot and dry like you would find in the Sahara Desert or hot and humid like you would find in Darwin. Why do we do this? Because we can push different technologies to the limit to see what works best and how to make improvements to help reduce energy use and costs. Our innovation isn't just happening in a lab, it's in the real world too including an education building at Hamilton TAFE in New South Wales and Stockland Shopping Centre in Ballarat, Victoria. We're continuing to work with our partners, both locally and globally, to help deliver a lower emissions future. Our National Heating, Ventilation and Air Conditioning HVAC Performance Test Facility may not have a jazzy name, but it performs some impressive research to evaluate conventional and solar-powered air conditioning systems. Inside, we have two test rooms that can mimic conditions around the world to examine how well air conditioning systems perform, specifically how well they work and how much energy they use. This information can be used by consumers and government or by industries to understand and improve product performance. The system under test can be powered by different solar thermal and photovoltaic panels on the roof or electricity from the grid. We also have solar dish collectors that concentrate the heat from the sun at temperatures up to 500 degrees Celsius, store it and use it to power thermally driven chillers. By testing these systems in a real world environment, we can evaluate performance before the technology is used in the field. This provides our partners with the confidence and expertise to identify which technologies are best for different applications and how to reduce system costs. At the CSIRO Energy Centre, we are leading the way in energy efficiency and electricity grid integration technologies. We are playing a critical role in helping to ensure all Australians have access to clean and reliable energy now and long into the future. Our facilities are available to industry, such as manufacturers and energy suppliers, as well as government and international partners for collaboration, and to help deliver solutions to our future energy challenges.